Huh? Watch out, Liam. than I was hoping to see, but it's really not too bad. I haven't found any spots where it goes all the way through, at least. So what's the plan with the rest? We treat it with something? Yeah, the, the underfloor will uh, use some rust conversion product of some type and uh, seal it up and call it in. Cool. Who needs a gym membership when you have a school bus? <laughs> we spent an entire weekend uh, ripping up the floors of our school bus and they do not want those suckers to come apart. They use glue, they use nails, they use... Screws? There's, there's no nails, but they use <laughs> screws, they use rivets, they use everything they can to keep that thing together and it's a lot of work taking it apart. So we really struggled taking the boards out. Um, we had crowbars and we had mallets and we had drills and even then it was really hard to get those freaking boards out. Um, we prevailed but because we were working so hard Colin was pulling up floorboards, I was pulling up floorboards, we were just kind of working at the same time so we have very little footage which is unfortunate but it is what it is. Since we didn't have a lot of footage of us pulling up the floorboards um, or footage of what the floors looked like afterwards because as you did see we kind of had a lot of rest Here is what the floors look like after all the boards were out So after we finished ripping up all the boards on the floor Colin decided that he needed to show off his super sweet black belt skills But guess what Colin is actually a black belt <laughs> okay, so we are getting ready to sand up a bunch of the rust. There's like a lot of rust that is kind of built up on each other, so we're going to try and do that before we power wash it tomorrow. And I don't know, have we shown? We've got some holes in the floor, so we have to patch those up. But before we have a bunch of steps and sanding is the first one. So here we go. <laughs> disclaimer we have probably made a ton of mistakes we will continue to make a ton of mistakes 
Mistakes like not wearing your mask when you're sanding the floors. Not wearing proper eye protection. Um, wearing flip-flops when you shouldn't, because <laughs> you're in a construction site. It's like all the time. <laughs> so there's probably a lot of that in this video, in our past videos, and there will probably continue to be that. So this is our disclaimer. We sometimes get excited about what we're doing, and so we forget to take those safety steps, and we're very, very thankful that we haven't been injured, and we will do better going forward to not make so many more mistakes, but we acknowledge that we're kind of dumb. <laughs> so now that we got the disclaimer out of the way, we got to do something super cool that I hope everyone someday gets to do. We power washed our house. <laughs> okay, okay. We power washed the bus, but it's like our house, right? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I wish I could power wash our house. It's the fastest way to clean it out. Absolutely. So we got rusty, rusty floors, uh, Colorado bus, lots of... I don't know if you can see it. What are you doing? Oh. I'm showing the for rusty floors. <laughs> so uh, we got our bus in Colorado, which has road salt, it has snow, it has all sorts of conditions, um, and it's about 17 years old. So there's some rust. And there's some holes. Lots We're going to do that at another date. Maybe it'll be in this video. Maybe it'll be in another video. But Stay we tuned. have... Hold up. We have this. It's really gonna. Rust X. Crud cutter. It's a Rust Oleum brand. It is, but it's not Rust Reformer. It's still Rust Oleum. Um, it's about half the price though, so hopefully it actually works. <laughs> this stuff chemically converts the rust into a inert substance, uh, which then you can prime and paint over, so uh, that's our plan. I was not expecting that color. Me neither. Yeah, you guys probably shouldn't be. This... I want you! I didn't know what to expect. Anything. Neat! Okay, so we finished the first coat and we let the rust X dry overnight. And here we're gonna do one more coat today, let it dry, and I think we'll call it good. So here's what the floor looks like right now. You can see that some of these spots are a lot darker, which is the rust converting. Um, but like over here, this one's quite a bit, like still red. So we're gonna do some coats. I'm um, definitely the bigger part of rust, but for the most part, everything's starting to look pretty dark. And so here goes coat number two. Here is our time lapse of 
the crud cutter. <laughs> what is that? It's time lapse. <laughs> Local man who's actually a black belt <laughs> shops boards. <laughs> I am a black belt. So because we had a lack of footage, there's not a ton of footage. <laughs> Due to our lack of footage, <laughs> a lack of footage. News at 11.